we heard you on the radio last night saying, you know, camp wrapped up. I just wondered what your thoughts were about progress made in camp and the direction you're pointed in, you think. Uh, you know, I really like uh, the way our yeah. team works. Um, I like the urgency. You know, there, we went probably practice maybe 10 through 12 somewhere where I was disappointed in our execution on offense. I did. I didn't, I didn't think we were urgent enough in our demeanor. And uh, we certainly picked that up. Uh, but uh, overall, it was really nice to get to today, which is our Monday practice uh, for Rice. And it's, it's just our typical Monday practice, what we do. And certainly, we believe in how we work the game weeks. This one will be a little bit different because we've added two days. but. Um, so I'm proud of the guy, the way that we've done, we've came out, you know, there's a lot of green out there at practice, but we've come out, uh, fairly injury free for the first game. Coach, you got a scout team out there. And it's, so things change for some of the younger guys. How was that with them going from, you know, getting a lot of reps and stuff to showing you looks? Well, you know, we went. Uh, scout switch a few times during practice uh, in fall camp. Uh, some of it was to look at Georgia uh, Southern's option type game. Uh, some of it was to look at some stack defense, odd stack that we, you know, don't see that often. Uh, so we did switch some scouts at that point. Usually, uh, you know, I don't think you would switch scouts, Trey, uh, before school starts. Um, but we did probably three different separate practices before this. So uh, just to get them ready to go, um, you know, we want our kids, every one of them to, to earn the opportunity uh, to run through that A. And we're going to dress out everybody who went through camp uh, versus Rice. And I want them to earn that right. I want them to feel proud and great about themselves when they run through that A, the scout team guys as well, because uh, at that point, you've gone from I hope to I know. And they, they need to be the reason that we're not saying I hope we win, but I know we're going to. And, and I thought today they really did that. I am. Um, uh, you know, uh, I believe in what we're doing with those guys in green is we're doing basically most of the scout work, not all of them, but the majority of them, we're doing the scout work with them. And if we go good on good, uh, we're holding them right now. But I, I expect for almost every one of them to be out of their green by Monday. How do you feel like the first day of Rice installed went overall? Well, every time y'all ask me a question about practice, I always say it was great, you know, but I'm not lying. I mean, I, you know, today was such a super practice. Uh, it was an hour and 40 minutes, like, like I say, that we always do in shells on Monday. But uh, I thought our scout teams were excellent. I thought we ran to the ball. I thought Scott and them had a really good plan for special teams. Uh, we executed that well. And, uh, you know, our offense, uh, played well all day in the two-minute drill. Uh, the defense, you know, got the better of the offense, uh, both both ones and twos. And and uh, the bottom line is uh, uh, we just have to do better there at offense, get the ball out of our hands, get out of bounds when we need to. But other than that, I thought it was just as good a practice as we could have. There's been a lot of talk about uh, – depth improvement in the defensive line. How about the offensive line and those backups and how, how they've well, progressed? I, Jalen St. John. Yeah. Others. You know, Tykees Crawford has, you know, he's played a lot with the ones, you know. Uh, Wags has been a little bit in and out with, you know, some uh, an injury. And, uh, and of course, St. John uh, has been out there at left tackle and he's improved. Uh, had a spell there. He had a stinger that, you know, if, he didn't want to see me come around too often, you know, but other than those two or three practice where he had that stinger and he was trying to nurse it more than what I wanted him to, uh, he's done well. 
the battle's still going on on those, you know, two guard spots. Uh, but Ty Clary has a lot of value to us, you know, whether it be center, we've also looked at him at right tackle. We've looked at Brady Latham at right and left tackles. Uh, so, you know, I think we're going to be fine at the tackle position, the guard position, the center position as well. So, you know, Clary has a lot to do with that because I believe he would uh, possibly be the backup at right tackle and center. Any update on trailer? And Burke, Sam Loy, some of the guys that have been not been out there? Well, I don't know. Um, they they haven't been at practice, you know. Um, I, I'm not for sure. Um, you know, I feel like they're both going to be ready for Rice. Let's say this. I'm, I feel better about Traylon being ready for Rice than, than possible I do Sam. Um, but that would be the only two guys, really, that there would be some type of concern about has been in and out too also um and not in green he's like he's just there or not there yeah um he just um yeah i mean he'll be fine uh, we'll get him back to practice and and uh he'll be fine just as far as sanders just how has he done i mean his running's been impressive but as far as protection and all the, the other things that a running back's got to do I think we're getting better at that, you know. Um, now we know who to block. It's a little bit more of how to block them, and I think we're getting better in there. You know, Dominique Johnson is good at that. Uh, Sent Rockets becoming a better protector. Traylon's always been a willing protector. Uh, AJ Green has got to, has has to continue to improve there, but uh, I think the they know who to go after, and they're 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 playing more physical. Yeah, call on team captains yet, or what? That's a good question. Uh, uh, what's tomorrow, Friday? Uh, Friday we'll vote uh, on team captains, and then we'll we'll announce them out here uh, in the mock game on Saturday. The t the kids will vote, not not the coaches. What's your confidence level about the offense being able to sustain drives, stay on the field, and score? Well, I'm confident in our players. You know, I'm confident in our coaches. Um, we we have to protect the football, um, but I, I I'm confident that we can we can stay on the field and move move down the field, and score points. First season out lately. Just what have you seen from your season for? And is there? I know we talked about Keytron the last time you were in here, but just other guys that. You feel like are going to be well, Bryce something. Stevens is going to help us. Cadlon's going to help us. Certainly, uh, Jaquette and Crawford is moving into that spot. You know, um, but I, I like our outside receivers with Warren Thompson uh, being one of those guys. And of course, I talked about Keytron. Um, but in that slot position, you have JD, you have Jaquette and Crawford, you have Bryce Stevens. You know, and even Cat's playing on the outside, but we could even move him in there as well. And of course, I've been impressed with Harper Coulter. So I think, you know, again, you don't want, certainly don't want Traylon Burks not to play in any game. But sometimes if you get a little nicked up and you're not able to practice, it helps your football team in the long run. I think wide receiver is probably one of the questions most fans have about, um, you know, just like who's going to try it out there first, but also in addition to the defensive line, like where are you guys at now? I mean, you got to start saying, okay, this is a first group, second group at some point. Right? Yeah, I, I mean, I think we pretty much know that. Um, we'll probably wait, uh, Trey, until uh, probably after Wednesday's practice to post a definite uh, – depth chart of next week uh, we still have in my opinion we still have some battles to to figure out but uh, you guys have been to practice you probably have a, the gist of, of who's going to start for us and things of that nature but um, I think we still have battles I don't know if it's fair to name a starting uh, group of guys right now until we get through uh, tomorrow's practice, which will be Tuesday and then Monday and Tuesday's practice which would be a Tuesday Wednesday practice so after we get through there probably on Wednesday at some time, we could probably uh, nail down exactly who we're going to do. But we still have some battles. And I, I'm not one of those guys that likes to put 
so and so or so and so so and so or some so and so somebody's one you're gonna run somebody out like you just said you're gonna run somebody out there with the first 11 and they've earned the right to be on the depth chart in that order in my opinion with Lloyd being out um how's Bauer done who with, with, with Sam with yeah, yeah. How's, how's Bauer done and would it be safe to say he's going to be the punter just or how's he done? You feel like he's earned that spot? Or? Yeah, I do. Uh, you know, um, the thing about Bauer is, is that, you know, I had, I love him. You know, I, I had, a, I had a talk with him at the end of spring ball, you know, and he's going, well, you know, two years ago, they said I couldn't start. I did last year. They did, you know, we brought a punter in, I beat him out, you know, they're setting up. Not not uh, overconfident, but very confident. You know, I love the guy, and by golly, he's he's done it again. You know, so uh, really proud of him. And of course, he has to punt well the next few days to keep that job. But uh, he's our starting punter right now, as you and I are visiting. Have you made a call on punt return, kickoff return guys yet? Or definite that you run out there no we're, we're, we really haven't I, again wednesday will probably be that day too but i'm i'm very confident uh that we have enough punt returners you know kickoff returners seems to me like it's a lot easier to catch a kickoff than it is a punt you know so we ha I certainly have more kickoff return guys uh punt we're probably trying to figure it out between three guys and you guys know who they are get deeper into rice next monday but just overview on these guys you know i know they beat marshall late last year but they got a lot of people back what do you think of them well it's it's anywhere um on their offense between seven and nine returners and then on defense i think they have 10 so they you know depending on like maybe a guy beat out a starter you know from last year which you have to think that's a starter type potential um they have most of all their offensive line back. Uh, certainly, you know, Luke McCaffrey transferred in uh, from uh, Nebraska. And uh, uh, so we're well aware of him. You know, the other quarterback they had last year is also returning. So, uh, but here's what they are. They're ball control, physical. They probably play more 12 personnel than anybody that we played in last year. Um, but they're, you know, I think we read that they're one twentieth in tempo, you know, so they are a very, you know, they're, they're trying to keep the ball away from you. And anytime you do that, you're trying to run it down somebody's throat. And I think that's that, I don't know, but I would assume that would be their plan against us on defense. I like their defense you know, because there's so many, it's so multiple, you know, they can run and an odd, an odd stack, four down and over and under. Uh, you know, they play a lot of different coverages in the backside and four and two. And then, you know, when they want to get after, they can play man, they play three. I think their number one coverage is three. But, um, you know, I really like, uh, it's unfortunate for them. They had a D tackle that got hurt that was really a good player, I thought. And, and uh, they have a nose tackle that's one of their highest uh, tacklers for a nose guard in the history of their school. They have a really fine nickel, and I like their safeties. They really run back at safety. They are a very physical team. They'll run and hit you. And uh, so a lot of respect there. Uh, coaches got it turned a little bit, I believe. You know, some of their games they lost last year were in overtime, very close games. And, uh, of course, they, they beat a, a fine Marshall team at Marshall. And so our kids are well, well, well aware of that. You mentioned Rice has multiple quarterbacks. Would you play more than one quarterback in just the normal flow of the game? Yeah, I think I would. Um, I mean, if I felt like they earned it, I know I would. And, and uh, you know, Malik certainly brings some similarities, but some, you know, some speed uh, when he's in the game. Uh, you know, I think he's a good good uh, pocket passer, but we can roll with him. Uh, hopefully he gets to the, you know, the outside and has two options, run or throw. Uh, he's a very good runner. And uh, so, you know, more than last year, you know, last year I think we brought him in the first time against Auburn down the goal line. And certainly if we didn't think he could score, we wouldn't have done it. But, you know, hindsight, you look and you go, well, probably wasn't ready for that. You know, he's ready for some uh, situations like that. Mm 
Well, I feel good. You know, if we can get HUD back consistently, um, I feel good about those three. You know, uh, Bax and and uh, HUD and and uh, and of course uh, Kern. That's that right now. That's where we're at. You know, that's that's who we have. And then we're, you know, we have some younger guys we're trying to develop. We're trying to, you know, certainly get Landon Rogers there as fast as we possibly can. And, and we've gone to a little bit more 10 personnel uh, to help us in case we run short at tight end. It's actually a question from Andrew. I, th I think he's watching on the Zoom. So you can, you can give him a shout out if you want. Um, he, he was wondering about, you know, he's always well. I don't know about what walk odds. I think uh, you just did. Yeah, about what walk odds. Yeah, if it's nice for it's for you. Um, I wonder what, like, what, what walk odds might might be getting scholarship if you've made a call on that yet. Well, you know, um, we have probably about four or five guys that were that you know we're looking at all of them, but there's probably realistically anywhere from one to four guys. Um, you know, we can retroact it can be retroactive, the scholarship. And so we don't, we didn't necessarily have to figure that out before school started because we can, at any point we put them on, they can, it can go back and they can get their money reimbursed and things of that nature. You know, here's what I believe on scholarships. If we, if we offered a scholarship to every walk on that was a good kid, we'd offer them to everybody. Um, you know, unfortunately, the, the problem with walk-ons is is that they have to they have to get on the field. You know, they have to help your football team. In my opinion, they they need to be players in the one or two deep, and they they need to help you on a Saturday. And what's hard is walk-on. You look around, there's some scholarship guys, and you're better than them. You know what I mean? And it and it's and it's frustrating at times. We want to do that. Uh, I'm not quite ready uh, to do that yet. Uh, for several reasons, um, but we have our eye on on some of the guys, and if we do, then I'll tell you. I'm not a video guy and all that kind of stuff because I feel like if you and I were walk-ons and they gave a scholarship to you and they did all the hoopla, and, I, and I'm all for that. I mean, it's, I don't care if somebody else does it. I mean, that's good for their program. I just feel like if you got a scholarship and I didn't, as as happy as you feel, that would be sad for me if I thought I'd earn that scholarship as well. So we don't do a lot of hoopla. I just call them in, tell them they're on scholarship, and congratulations, call your mama and dad, and go on from there. All right, guys.